Hi there. Now, for this next part of the question, we're told that another particle Q moves with a constant velocity V equals 2i minus j meters per second. And we've got to find the distance moved by Q in two seconds. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So to do this, then, if you were thinking, say, of our unit vectors i in that direction and j in that direction, what we've got for this velocity here is a vector something like this, where we go, let's just put some dotted lines on, where we go two units in that direction to one unit down. This gives us the vector 2 i minus j. So that's how far it would travel in just one second. Two seconds, we're going to go across here again, two units and one unit down. So that would be how far we travel in two seconds. And that's what we got to find. So looking at those components, you've got two there, one there. Again, two across, one down. So it's just a question of finding that magnitude from that triangle and doubling it. And it's just done by Pythagoras' theorem. So that distance is equal to twice the square root then of the sum of the squares of these two shorter sides, 2 squared plus 1 squared. And so that is going to be twice root 5. You could leave it like that, that's an exact form, or you could work it out as a decimal, that would be in metres by the way, and as a decimal, if you do it on your calculator, you get 4.472 and so on. Rounding that, say, to three significant figures is 4.47 metres to 3SF, three significant figures for short. Okay?